Grid clear. What's the target site there? We need to keep the element a surprise. Let's move. Okay, ooh, I've got my charge. We in the shipyard, baby. The noise should cover us. Hit the group on the right first. We got this. The noise didn't cover us so well. We should be good. Okay. Might as well take the shocks. Yeah. What is this machine? Ooh, airlock. Your eyes okay. open. There we go. Let's fly, baby. Let's fly. Space, space, space. Oh my goodness gracious. I'm guessing people are gonna like drop in on us any minute now, right? Whoa. They're deploying every bomb they have. Uh oh. It means our forces are putting up a fight down there. Good work, guys. Good work down there. Okay, let's lock let's this airlock. Alright, you guys gotta get up here. Let's go. Oh, okay. I'm gonna shut down the uh, drop pod launchers, I guess. It's a good idea. Blow the system. Here you go. Doors opening. <gasps> no, no, no. Let me go before it blows. Oh my god. Captain. Please. The mission. <gasps> She did that so we keep going. Come on, Salt. The others are still counting on us. We can't give up. Let's go. You're right. Let's go stop that ambush. Come on. I don't got time to waste. Get in here so I can cycle this. Listen, lady. Let's. Okay. Okay. Close the door. Good work. Beautiful. Stabilizing everything together. Let's go finish the fight, Salt. <sighs> Mask off. For a split second, it legit felt like my ears popped, We're even though they didn't. <laughs> it's like I'm actually in space. I don't know if I'd ever want to go to space. I'd be so terrified and anxious and probably just have like constant panic attacks. But it would also be so cool. And what a vlog hey, it would make. Stay low. Shuttle station. We have any on targets. We've got the drop on them. On your go, Reyes. Good room kill. That was a beautiful frag grenade that led to a lot, a lot of blood. Raj. Ready to load off, Captain. Thanks, sir. Where's the chief? She didn't make it. We gotta go. Clear! All clear. Which ship is it, Ethan? Right there. That's a destroyer. It's got a full payload. Can we use it? To fight our way out? No. To level this place. The ship on fire, Captain. The weapon system is not enabled. Forget the weapons. Let's release the moorings, key in a drop, and go. Boats, how can we enable the payload? Firing control, sir. Where's firing control? Command center, ma'am. It's a shuttle ride that way. Who's gonna do that? Me. You'll never make it back to the ship. If we wait, they'll fire on us. You're not gonna wait. Captain. How will you get home? No one's going home. Mm. You board that ship and you terminate this place, Salt. 
Do as much damage as you can before SDF takes you out. I can do both. I can hit the shipyard and drop out of here. You won't have time. Watch me. You got the green light to do whatever it takes. Just finish the mission. Everybody good with this? You don't need a crew to launch. We'll have to fight our way on. Shuttle. Brooks, take him out. Ethan, with me. No, ma'am. Captain's gonna need my help to get to the command center. Damn you both. Did you know we were gonna finish this here? No. I think Mac did. Well, I guess I'll see you both in hell. Count on it. Okay, gentlemen, let's move out! Fair winds. Why? This is so freaking Captain, sad and scary. It. Affirmative, Ethan. I'm into their network. Got eyes on you now. What about enemy positions? Got eyes on those two, sir. This is suicide, Reyes. I gave my order, Salt. Captain doesn't always bring his men home. Not always. What the heck? This is your staff, sir. Looks to be clear. Check. Okay. Junction room. Should be full of stock you can swipe. Last haul, huh? This is crazy. I cannot believe that we're doing this, you know? Just like a crazy suicide kamikaze effort All to set. shut down the Point SDF. All the way to the floor. Guns close. Copy. Whoa, how did this guy get back up? Seriously, put these people in their place. They're retreating from me, a one-man army. Who's left? Not play any games here. Oh, he's right here. Did not see that. Ugh. Blood on my face. I need weapons and moorings unlocked. One without the other is a no-go. Raj, be advised, hostile airships are moving to your side. Copy. Eyes on. Out. Okay. Um. Great. Yep. Come on, we just gotta push through. Power, 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 power. I think we got him. Nope, one more. Got no cover. I'll take care of that. Oh my god, there are so many. That was probably a suicidal decision. Hey, at least they backed up though. We scared him. Oh my god. Yes. I leveled that whole freaking floor. Hey! Die, bot, die! Oh god, oh god. Here we go. We get him? No? Come on! This guy is freaking relentless. Okay, good thing we got another tank in the... Wait, did he get him? Did we blow him up? Okay, got a new gun on the last level. That's always cool. Wait, where did he go? Oh my god. I guess we did. Refill the frags. Oh, baby. Moving as fast as I can. Hold him off. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my. <gasps> oh god. <gasps> oh, Ethan. With the big save. Hallelujah. Okay. Whoa. 
Open the door and out they go. Nicely done, boy. Thanks, partner. This is the best robot ever. The situation. I'm enjoying myself, sir. <laughs> Me too. Okay. Where to now? Oh God. A lot of ammo here. I'm using the weapons these guys are using. Cool. Good shooting, sir. You'll need to take the elevator to firing control. Almost there. Copy. Now I got an amps gun. Okay. Oh baby. Affirmative. Quite an arsenal. A lot of missiles there. Space missiles. Oh god. I'm trying. Ethan, hostile forces are aboard the lieutenant's destroyer. Sir, firing control entry is dead ahead. Be advised. Room is occupied with armed personnel. Roger that. Oh my god, hello. Drones, I need you. No grenade. Good kill, or at least a good distractor. The drone is really the MVP, though. Okay. I do not want the shield, I want the drones. Thank you very much. What gun is this? DCM smart shot? Oh, it's this thing. I cannot use this thing. Oh my god. Get that drone up. Oh, dude! No! Good thing robots are stupid! Crap, Aurella. Our final stand here. Whoa, I'm going in the air. Good job, drone. This guy's like flying in here. Good work, AIE Tad. Might as well take the shield now. And hacking charges. Oh wow, okay, good. Firing control terminal should be on the main console, sir. Okay. Let's see if we can get this done. I'm at the terminal, Ethan. You release the moorings, I'll activate firing control. Sir, since they've shut down the switches on the lock, I can blow the relays from here and release the moorings manually, but I'll need your help. I'll come back. No time. Car interference may disable my processor. Hack into my system and you can keep me moving. Use the hacking module. I got line of sight to your location, sir. Oh, baby. We're doing okay. a big long-term hack. I'm in. Pretty strange. It's very... unusual, sir. I'm even. What do we do? Distribution room. Down the steps, Captain. Oh, baby. We'll pull the fuses, overload the circuits, melt the relays on the ship lock. Ethan, why do you need me for this? Core is electromagnetic. Shock may disable my processor. I'll need your help to stay mobile. Oh no, Ethan's gonna die. <gasps> Get me inside the distribution room and we can overload it in time. Okay, we got a minute 47. Well above this, sir. Keep moving. Call room is just up ahead. Uh. Ethan the muscle man, ripping this thing straight off. Look at this guy go. It's like a garbage can for him, and this is where he probably meets his doom. Oh dear god, I hate walking him straight into this electromagnetic chamber. Do. Coil visible in my head. Pull the capacitor. Okay, let's pull this, baby. Uh, Yankee robot arms. Do what a human cannot. Super strength. Super ganks. Oh, damn. Okay. It looks like it's overloading. Let's get out of here. <gasps> no, sir. Core is still holding. 
Oh, what? Oh no! Set off a chain reaction and blow the boring. There's gotta be another way. I'm afraid not, sir. Oh god. I understand the conflict, Captain. I'm ready. I promise. Oh god, we have to climb in here and self-destruct. Good luck, Rhea. Oh god. Honor, sir. <gasps> Honor was all mine, Metal One. Oh, Metal Rhea's one. horrible. Enable firing control. Firing control is set. You have the con. Copy firing control. Target is marked. Fire on my position. Holy Ryan, crap. Get the hell out of there. Fire on my position, <laughs> Salter. I can't do that, Nick. Nora, finish the mission. That's an order. Send weapons free. All stations, warship is green to engage. Oh my god. <laughs> Crap. And that's the end of Nick. The end of the captain. The end of the game. Four survivors. Mission is a success, though. We did it. We fought off the SDF and destroyed their heavy home Martian base. Boom, baby. Peace to the fallen. <gasps> she survived? Aww. Omar, Reyes, and Kashima saving the day. One planet at a time. But Salter made it. And that's a wrap on Infinite Warfare, baby. We have beaten the game. I think it was a pretty darn good campaign. I think it started a little slow in very traditional shooting gallery Call of Duty uh, style. And then it really expanded out and gave us this more open system where you could tackle a bunch of side missions. You could deal with, you know, your, your crew and read more notes about them and hang out kind of in uh, the cabin. Ooh, what is this? To my dearest wife, Sarah. Oh, my God. My son, Noah. And my daughter, Abby. If you're reading this, I can tell you with the utmost confidence that I'd die for something right and just. The cost of war is higher than any one life. And I happily give mine in defense of my men and family. Jeez, these are heartbreaking. Abby, I'm sorry I didn't keep my promise when I said I was coming home. My hopes for your future gave me the strength to protect everything we hold dear. You will always be daddy's little girl. Noah, be an honest man. Keep your word. Only use violence as a last resort. You're the man of the house now. Sarah, please keep our baby safe. And find it in your heart to forgive me for leaving you alone. 
If my last breath is not in the battlefield, then surely it will be in your arms. Keep me in your hearts. Always. Jeez. These are freaking sad. Sir, we're behind enemy lines now in the heat of battle. Time is short. You've given an order from which there is likely no return. You did what had to be done. All in. I'm proud of you. You're a born leader, sir. Today was one of the worst days in history. And uh, forgive me for saying it, but it was the greatest day of my life. I did everything I was trained for and more. Together, we fought the good fight. Over Titan, you said we were brothers. I always wanted to know what a family really is. Now I do. Aww. Admiral Reigns told me that a soldier is only as good as his last mission. If this is ours, then I can say with certainty, we were damn good, sir. Better to burn out than it is to rust. Metal one, out. <laughs> burn out rather than rust. I kind of like that idea. Okay. Got a bunch of these left, so I'll give you my like final review now. So I thought they did a nice job expanding that and giving you more of a, like, I'm, I don't want to say real game, but like a bigger game uh, feel than just a shooting gallery. And I thought some of the later missions really took on a much more set piece, uh, s still set piece emphasized level design, but more expanded level design, uh, more open level design, kind of just like the game as a whole. And I really appreciated those moments where it felt like I was fighting more arena style battles uh, in the vein of something like Titanfall or Gears of War as opposed to just the shooting gallery pop and drop. Um, I still think that Call of Duty, you know, lives and dies by that, the campaigns at least, live and die by that sort of shooting gallery style. And if you like that, great. If you don't, you don't. Uh, but overall, I thought they were able to round this into a very successful campaign. I like the space theme a lot. I think there was some really cool set pieces and scenes, and again, the benefit of doing futuristic stuff is that you can create these really amazing levels with really beautiful uh, sky boxes or space boxes and really unique encounters and exchanges with anti-gravity and, and all these kinds of weaponry and then the levels and being on this planet and that planet and this moon and flying through space and this mix of space travel and you know, ground combat, and so while there are negatives to sort of the futuristic style, I think it does provide for a very unique and extraordinary visual um, and sort of gameplay experience that is harder to derive from World War One or World War Two. Um, that being said, I did feel like the on-the-ground action was pretty darn solid. Some of the weapons were cool. A lot of the weapons, to me, just got lost in the shuffle. I didn't really have any that stood out to me, uh, except for, obviously, the F-Spar, and then that shotgun that would, like, auto-target and fire. Um, but I did like some of the side armaments, stuff like the Seeker Drones, uh, stuff like the hacking, stuff like the anti-grab I thought were really cool and well-executed, um, and I enjoyed those a lot. Uh, all in all, I'd probably give it, like, a solid, I don't know, seven and a half, something like that. I don't think that it was phenomenal in any way, but I do think it was good in almost every way. And this story was, I liked, I felt like they did a gr more grounded story this time around that didn't, you know, get sort of wrapped up in these insane situations and these crazy terroristic bad dudes and had more of a, a normal feel to it and thereby allowed you to associate more with the characters and feel part of this tight-knit group. And the main character, to me, had more personality and was a more fully realized person than sort of the oorah grunts uh, of some of the past Call of Duty. So I will, you know, remember Salter and I will remember the ship and, and the retribution and that. Uh, I would have liked to see a more harrowing... Uh, battle with the villain it kind of felt like we were fighting against ourselves we're fighting against no one because it was a suicide mission at the end and killing grunt after grunt i you know it's a it's a difficult balance between having this like very demonic figurehead villain who's over the top and almost saturday morning cartoonish and then having a villain kind of like the admiral in this one who he was intimidating but then he died so quick and was just like out of the picture and you ended up fighting like nobody at the end you know what i mean i thought that was a little bit of a weird choice but i liked it a lot to me i still enjoyed titanfall 2's uh, campaign better than Infinite Warfare, but I thought this was a valiant effort and a good Call of Duty campaign. I don't know that it's possible to make a 10 out of 10 Call of Duty campaign. I think unless they're willing to fully embrace uh, sort of a, a, a very heavy storytelling and uh, not shooting gallery approach that has more down moments, more calm moments, um, a heavier emphasis and focus on 
interaction with other characters and with the environment and things like that. Um, you know, the, the follow the marker and press square to win format doesn't really lend itself to, like, a, a campaign that will be remembered forever or a campaign that's for the ages. I just don't know how you ever achieve that given the, infra like the, the foundational structure that they've established. You know, I don't know how that can ever be. But given what they have established, I think this was successful indeed, and I enjoyed it. And I hope you guys did as well. Thank you so much for watching the series. Thank you so much for being a part of it. I love you a lot. Hopefully you'll join me on the upcoming games, Dishonored 2, Watch Dogs 2, all that good stuff. Um, if you want to see more zombies or multiplayer, let me know. I'll bring that your way. And I think that's going to do it. Like I said, solid 7.5 for me. I, I really can't give it anything more, because like, like I said, for me, that framework is just worn thin. And there were so many cool things, but imagine if this game took on more of a Dead Space uh, style, or took on more of a Bioshock style, given like the cool weapons and the cool settings, and, and sort of the, the, the interesting lore behind this SDF versus Earth faction. If that could have been fleshed out more, if they could have fleshed the mechanics and the gameplay out more beyond shooting gallery, but again, this is a game that's fitting a very specific you know, niche, and it's targeting a very specific audience, and so, no matter if they want it to be, or hope it can be, I don't know that it ever will be anything more than a FPS within this military shooting gallery mainstream, you know, mold. But, that's just my thoughts. Let's get back to these guys' thoughts and hear what they have to say. My dearest children. Well, as this letter will only be used in the event of my death, it may seem somewhat sorrowful, but I don't want you to see it that way, okay? I have always felt that our stay on Earth, the time we call life, <laughs> it's a temporary gift to be spent in service of something greater than ourselves. Death comes to us all. It is not to be feared. I loved my job. But I hated war, but the secret mission I undertook every single day was to protect the two of you from anyone or anything that threatened your health and well-being. So promise me, you will take care of one another and please live your lives to the fullest. With all the love in my heart, Mum. Jeez, these are very well written. They should have had more of this kind of writing in the game. I mean, sometimes sentimentality can get really cheesy and fake fast, but this is pretty darn good, and I wish they would have incorporated more of this humanity. See, that's what I'm saying, like, more of a deep story experience. I'm just trying to think if there's any way they could get it done. I don't know. We'll continue. For my dear wife, Olivia, and my daughter, Nisri. If you are reading this, I guess I didn't make it home. I was prepared to face danger and death. I hope I did so with dignity. My time was cut short, but I had countless blessings. I married the perfect woman. I have a brand new daughter on the way. I'd be selfish to ask for more. I love you, Olivia. Welcome our baby into this world and cherish her for me. Remind her about her daddy. And please, never be afraid to do what you need to find happiness. Nisreen, hello, sweetheart. I left for this tour before you were born. I'm sorry I won't be able to see you grow up. Daddy wanted to make the world a better place. That's why we made you. Keep me in your prayers and try to do one good deed every day. Be safe, my family. Victor. Mm hmm. So long, Gator. Sir? I'm not quite sure how a son greets his father after not seeing him for a lifetime. I guess I'll say hi, Dad. Finally tracked down your address through the Human Resource Department in Washington. I had to use my birth certificate to prove we were related. I want you to know I followed in your footsteps. I joined the Navy, thought it would make you proud. And if we ever saw each other, we'd have more to talk about. I went to sniper school to be a sharpshooter, but my vision changed. I became an instructor. 
I'm currently deployed aboard the UNSA Carrier Retribution. My mom Sandy passed away this year. I went back to the old house just before shipping out and found a box with your Silver Star for Valor. My mom kept it all this time. I wish I'd known you still lived in Tennessee. I would have dropped by. Could have had a beer and caught up. I forgive you for leaving. I hope you're not mad at me for writing. Thanks for helping bring me into this world. I did my best to be a good man. Maynard Griffin. Dear Andrew, it's Fleet Week. More ships are dry docked against the dawn sky. I'm home, but it's not home without you. I know I had what every woman envied, a husband that gave life more meaning. You were my handsome better half. Since the day we locked eyes, I thought of you constantly. I still do. The internal drive that earned me my rank cost me a marriage. The Navy imbued me to accomplish the mission and never quit. To that end, I'll never stop loving you, no matter where or when I go. Thank you. Being together was a gift. With love always, Laura. Marta, the Navy has made my life a long distance love affair. The things I love are all far away, my home, my animals, you. I am doing important work. I'm ready for anything, even this. The military did not take my life. I volunteered it. I know this isn't easy. Please don't cry for me or us. Cry for a world that couldn't make peace. I think of you and my heart races. I smile, I laugh out loud, and people tell me I always seem so happy. I am. I have you. Yours forever, Yutide. Hey, Mom, Dad. When I joined the Marines, I told you that I'm ready to give my life for fighting for a good cause. If I don't come home for any reason, then that's what happened. I hope I died doing something heroic. And in the long run, I hope that I made you proud. I promised myself I wouldn't get close to people here, but it's kind of impossible not to. I wasn't scared here, but I was homesick. Mom, I had a dream last night that you were making dinner. Yes, my favorite pork chops. <laughs> and we were all at the table together. Tell Aunt Joyce I said hi and I love her. And give Bailey a big kiss and a new tennis ball from me. Everyone here has a mother and father. But you and Dad only have one son. So I'm sorry I didn't make it back. Simplify. Your loving son. Todd. Jeez, some of those are pretty, uh, pretty sad. That again, like that writing, like ah, they clearly have the chops. I kind of just wish they would have filtered more of that into the story. And I know that some of that was on the computer, in some of the different things that I didn't read and didn't go into, and maybe some of the side missions provided a little bit more. But I wish that maybe, maybe after this year, given the pushback they got, which I think is a little unfair, but maybe they'll be able to, you know say, hey, look, this style of COD is not what people really want that much anymore, so let's evolve it or reshape it, and maybe then that we can get almost the Uncharted or the Dead Space or the, you know, whatever you want to say, version of Call of Duty that will focus heavily on story and will focus heavily on, you know, more of those aspects that make a single-player very memorable. We're moving into special thanks. So we got to be done with the credits in a second here. I'll keep the the tape rolling uh, just in case there is an ending scene. Although I doubt it, given the somber tone. Uh, also, very interesting that they chose to like kill off the main character in most of them. Salter being one of the only ones that survived. God only knows how. She must have ejected into some drop pod and landed on Mars, and then been picked up or something. I don't know, because that's crazy that she made it out alive. But our dude, 
he didn't, and neither did Ethan, and neither did all those others you just heard from. So, that's the story of Infinite Warfare. And, uh, save for sort of the, to me, anticlimactic ending, I, I felt like the, the you know, if, if you, you group the game in percentage from 0% to 100% at completion, I felt like the 70 to 90% was really good, and then 90 to 100 was a little bit meh. Like, that final walk through the, the space st station, the the shipyard, and all that, so impressing X employment out. Like, I get why they did it, and I, I get how they wanted to do a storyline that wasn't so heavily focused on, again, this big bad villain, but I I just sort of liked something a little bit more intense or a little bit more roller coastery or a little bit more, you know, spectacle-laden. But, uh Let's see if we get anything after the Havoc logo screen. Hmm? No robots were harmed in the making of this game. <laughs> they bring it back, uh, back up to a, a humorous level with that. Thank you for purchasing and finishing our game. Oh, that's kind of nice. Infinite Warfare was the result of the passion and dedication of many individuals working together to create the best game they could. From the whole team at Infinity Ward, we'd like to thank our family, friends, and devoted fans for their support and patience through the countless hours and late nights it took to finish this game. We couldn't have done it without you. We hope you enjoyed playing the game as much as we did making it. Much love and gratitude. Infinity Ward. That's cool. Always like when the developers include messages like that. And that's it. Okay. So... Mission select is now locked, which I'm not quite sure I understand. Specialist unlocked. Here are all these missions. Oh, and you can go and do um, different ship assaults and stuff if you want to do those, which is kind of cool. You get different rewards, different upgrades. Although we kind of cruise through on hard, and so I don't know that you need all that stuff. But that's basically what unlocks. That's the game. And uh, now there is multiplayer and zombies. If you want to see more of that, let me know in the comments below. Until next time, everyone, hope you had a fantastic series with me. I love all of you. And I'll see you on another game. Until that time, everyone, drink so much all. Thanks again. Fantastic day. Drink so much all again and again and again and again and again and again to infinity and beyond. We'll see you all later.